glory to God. Saints of God, wherever you are, all over the world, it's time to appreciate your Creator. So long you can hear me, so long you can see someone, and you are standing on your feet, yes, begin to thank Him. Thank Him for the gift of life that you have woken up again this morning to start a brand new activity. Don't be broken because yesterday was not too good for you. Thank Him for the one He has done so far. Since you were born, He has been sustaining you. But we cannot mean that there is hope. There is hope, say to God, there is hope. Do not lose that hope. Christ Jesus died so that you may be sustained. Whatever you are passing through is not hatred. It's not bad at all. It's a training for you to become greater tomorrow. Begin to thank Him. Tell Him thank you. Find a good reason to thank Him. The Lord has slept, but they won't wake up anymore. Begin to thank him. Tell him thank you, Jesus. Tell him, thank him for any good reason why you can thank him. Have you seen blind people? Would they choose colors for themselves? What about the Lord, the lame? Then they can't run. What about the dumb? They can talk, but you are complete. Wave your hands to heaven. Find a good reason why you must thank him. Find a good reason why you must praise him. Oh yes, for the rich is created by him, the poor is created by him, the strong and the weak is created by him. Just in a day, all of us will answer the call, and when we answer the call, it's same great. That is to tell you that God has made everything in places and place them where he wants. But today, if you can thank him very well for what he has done, expect a breakthrough. Expect a breakthrough. Begin to thank him. Thank him. Thank him. Let me teach you one way you can get this done. Thank him for what he has done before. Thank him for what he is doing. And thank him for what he will do. Now begin to prophesy to yourself. Those good things you are expecting, call it forth. Don't beg for it. He is your father. He is your father. Begin to prophesy into your day. Today shall be profiting to me. Today shall be gainful to me. Today shall be prosperous to me. Today spiritually I will be gainful. We shall be gainful to me. Men begin to help. My helpers' eyes are open. Their hearts are open towards me. The day shall be favorable. In the name of Jesus Christ. Why not say I will not die? I will live to testify the goodness of God in the land of the living. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I come with the good news this morning for you and I'm going to be very brief to ensure that you will find that very thing that you really need. Are you broken? Because you feel it's not okay. Don't worry. Let's go. The treasures, those things you are looking for earthly, will be delivered to you so that your spirituality can also grow. So many have come because they found the favor of God but they never used it well. I pray for you that whatever you gain as you live to make you live well will not become temptation to you and causing your destruction in the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm 27 verse 8 When you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face Lord I will seek. Can you hear that? When you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face, Lord, I will seek. Most times, when the Lord calls on you, your heart fails to answer. And when your heart fails to answer the call of God, when He wants to bring you to your inheritance, want to bring you to your prosperity spiritually and physically, your heart says no. <laughs> David's talking there. He said, when the Lord called to him and said, seek my face, his heart never said no. His heart agreed to what the Lord has done. And what has the Lord done? Calling him. And he decided to seek him. The question there, why did his heart agree to seek him? Because he trusted in him. I want to charge you this morning. 
that if you do not answer the call of God when He calls upon you, most things you are struggling will not answer you too. When you answer your God, your God will make everything that He created and make Adam name to answer to you. Hallelujah. You are struggling simply because you failed to answer our Father. And when you have failed to answer the Father, every other thing will fail to answer you. <laughs> but God, being faithful, has given me a good news for you. Join me. Open your scripture to Isaiah 43, verse 3. And the Lord said, I will give thee the treasures of darkness and the hidden riches of secret places that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, I am God of Israel. Hallelujah. <laughs> the Lord knows you before you were born. While you were yet a human, he knew thee. And while you were in your mother's womb, he has ordained you to be prosperous in spirit and in soul and body. But you have not answered his call, you have not been obedient. Then those things he created cannot obey you. <laughs> that is the mystery. This morning I charge you to answer God's call. How do you answer God's call? Stop being wicked. Stop being stupid. Stop being wicked. Stop being wicked. Stop being naive. Follow in obedient and complete reality to whom has made it be. His promises are not lies. He will do it. The treasures of darkness, it simply means that those ones that are yet to have God as their Lord and personal Savior, when they die, those things they have gathered is for you that have agreed and answered God. And he also said, the secret secrets, the secret of the deepest secret of the treasures of the secret, treasures that are in secret, that means treasures that no man has ever seen or known, shall be revealed to you if you answer this call. Answer the call of salvation and become what you want. Is that so difficult? If you say no, then join me now. Say after me, Lord Jesus, as from today I have made you my Lord and personal Savior. As from today, you alone and alone I will follow and worship. As from today, every thing God, every charm, every wrong altar that I follow and believe, I denounce. I know that you were born, I know you were, you were beaten, rejected, stoned, and crucified. I know you died, I knew you were buried, I knew that yes, on the third day you resurrected. Lord Jesus, today I know you are seated at the right hand of your Father. Therefore, thank you Jesus for accepting me as your son, as your daughter, as it were, that no more will I go back to my old ways. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now that you have said this, you are purely a new creature, a brand new one that I found favor in the face of this earth. And Jesus has forgiven you. You are not a new creature, never created anywhere. So just look for a Bible believing church, keep in to training, become a, a worker in the church, and you begin to grow in that light. Congratulations, because yes, the treasures of the hidden and darkness is yours. Everything shall begin to answer to you. Congratulations. God bless you. My name is Reverend Prophet Yilfu Mekunye. If you need counseling, you can reach me on 080-6537-1380. I will be there to speak with you directly not no one but me. I will talk to you, we'll chat live. Okay? But before we draw the curtain, join me, say, God is good. Say it one more time. God is good. And the last one must be loud. God is good. Hallelujah. Bye-bye.